Hey, hi, hello, how is everybody going? Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited because today we're going to be starting our new story based Choices Matter game today, and it is The Quarry, which I'm very excited for. I have started, got about halfway through, and never actually finished this game. So I'm excited. Now I sound a little funky because I am sick. But I was really excited to get this started, and I just wanted to play. Like, it just needed to happen. So, how we're probably going to break up this series, or how I think I'm going to break up the series, is we're going to do the epilogue in this first um, video, plus chapter one, and then we're going to split it into each chapter box, and I believe there's ten chapters, so that means there's ten parts to this, which I'm excited, I'm excited! Um, and we're starting a new game. I am... Like, let's just get into it. Let's go. I woke up to an early dawn. Wrapped up in my lover's arms I feel it in my weary bones I'm home But nothing that I want to see Let's dive into the best of dreams Scratch the surface of the sky Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Oh, heads up. Oh. oh. Yeah, oh, God, honey, nice it. catch. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right. That's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god, okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I don't want to talk in case I start talking again, but also, oh, leaflet map, leaflet map, leaflet map. I feel like the map is more useful. Let's go to the leaflet. Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around oh. a fake fire pit. Well, that didn't really help us um, at all. <laughs> Checks out. 
Everything okay? Yeah, okay. What? I want to know from you guys. Did you want more or less talking hey, from me? Eyes on the road, mister. In games like these. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Max! Did I miss something? I could have. Oh, oh, there's a scary lady. Okay. I can't put the control down. Even though it's like my first instinct because I'm just watching a movie. Like I literally feel like I'm just watching a movie and putting the controller down as like what I need to do. But um yes. <laughs> oh my god, they're so so okay? they're both so stunned. Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Would have been a person. Oh my gosh. Do you think we had a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Oh, he fucked it up. Actually, you know what? Maybe it looks worse than it is? Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah. Does yeah. this man know how to fix it? That's what I want to know, you know? Is he a man who knows how to fix a car? Um, now I do know we get to control the characters, which is exciting. Um, and I just kind of want to see... Now we want to go around to the trunk of the car. Sometimes the angles, you know, are a bit funky, but are we gonna snoop? Yeah, fuck yeah, we're snooping. I want to know some shit. Also, I want to see how many people we can keep alive and how many people end up dying. Like, I, I just want to know. Oh, we got rejected from a, a university. Max. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me? We need to keep that up our sleeve of information. It's a little bit sad he didn't tell her though. I feel like she'd be supportive. Thanks, huh? Well, at yeah. least you want her. Thank you. Her? Need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then, picture yourself growing up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Alright. Uh, have a look. Woo! That was a bit creepy. Where are you going? Just over here. Just wandering off on her own. This is happening. Stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost movies. done. Like, why? You're gonna tell him to hurry up. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that is. they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. He's actually so sweet. He's helping her down. When I first played, I played this differently. I like this option Let better. Kind of just. Ooh. When do we get the fool? The fool, I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom, or recklessness and risk taking. Spontaneity, actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think, think, and don't get burnt. Okay. 
Yeah, in games like these, I love searching for everything. And making sure I find everything that I need to find. Sometimes I will miss things though. This is a poster for traveling, a traveling sideshow it looks like. They have been here a while, left forgotten in the woods with those burn marks around the edges. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. But yeah, I like finding all the clues and the hints that I can to understand the story. Oh, uh, yeah, right, okay. Oh no, it does do things. Oh, do we go left or right? Let's go left. Looks like it's like an end. An end, yes it is. Something to find. Like left looked like it had like it was a dead end. I don't know that I'd be opening up some random trunk. Ooh, just got some cuffs. A trunk filled with strange devices. That of an escapologist, perhaps. A relic of a traveling show that must have passed through the area. I so weird that they just left it there. They just these games are really good at building the suspense, even if nothing's going to happen, and then it fills you with like a like a false sense of like hope. Well not hope, but like a false sense of oh nothing's happening. Oh What the hell? What is this? I did not find this in my first playthrough. A broken cage. This decrepit cage has been engulfed by the woods over time. It looks like an animal is nested here. Silas the dog boy. Oh. A dog boy. Yikes. This is weird. Um. This is too weird. I agree. I most definitely agree. Oh! Okay, I'm just trying to see. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I was gonna say, can we get that torchlight up? Thank you. Oh my god, is something gonna happen? I think it is. She's getting scared. Oh, the lady's there. Oh my god. She's there, but she's not there. Like, what is happening? And Silas, the dog boy? What makes a man like a dog Where boy? Where are you? Silas. Oh my god. Crazy. Uh, yeah, we don't want to mess up running away from nothing, something. Oh, no. Are we gonna jump up? Yes, we are. Good, we're doing well. Hey, 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 what's wrong? What's wrong? Is everything alright? Holy shit. Talk to me. What's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like, I was. There was noises all around me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. You all right? Yes.
Yes, there we go. Burn like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Turns out he does know how to fix a car. Me. Except now they're a Max. little bit bald, you just, know? Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. A little We've stuck. got to go, man. Right, you're not helping right now. Can you just... I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. Yeah. I'm sorry. It doesn't help when you get angry like that. It's okay. It's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Ooh, Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck! Oh my god! There's a man. Heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, hey, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. we're just a little scared. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah, um... Something jumped out. We could have made an animal. We, um... Uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and... You know, here we are. Something jumped out? Hmm, who knows? I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Old path chosen, okay? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. All right, so the police officer seems to be giving us a toe out, which is handy. We like it. Um, uh, it helps us in lots of things, you know, getting back on the road to the camp. Now, you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? Do you know, I think, I don't know if our choice timer, if there's a choice timer, I'm not sure. But I'm curious. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie like Urban Legends and like the opening scene. And in that opening scene, there is, she's at like a servo and she goes to the servo and she stops and she's getting her fuel and the, the, um, assist, the, the shopkeeper there, he, um, you know, tries to get her into the shop. She doesn't trust him. She's, he's telling her that, you know, the, her credit card's not working, all this she really doesn't trust him. He's not giving off the greatest of vibes. So he's pretty scary looking. He's not the most trustworthy looking guy. And in the end, do you know what it is? He's trying to tell her that there's someone in the backseat of a car. And then she gets killed. So had she trusted this guy, she wouldn't have died. You know? Is that what this cop is giving? Because he's giving like these weird vibes. You know? Um, at the moment. So I wonder if we're those heading are the up vibes. to summer camp. We're new. Counselors, like he's not seeming trustworthy. I think he's a cop. You're one night early. Yeah, sure. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> You're not gonna make it to Haggett's Quarry. Not tonight. See, like he's not giving off the best of vibes. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night. Okay. He's got blood on his uh, cheek. Like why I is think we're just gonna stick neck? to the plan, sir. I no, mean, his Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're why? gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand?
what would I do in this situation? Would I be like, okay, that's, you know what I would, I would be compliant. I okay, would... fine. Yeah, we'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just was one telling me small that. problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um, I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? For sure. It's so Son, weird. Remain in the vehicle. Then he only wants her to hop out and not it's him. Okay. okay. This is strange. But like I said, is this giving like the Urban Legends vibe? Or the untrustworthy person? Is actually trustworthy. He's just giving off those vibes of untrustworthiness. Okay. So, we... Are right about here. Harbinger Motel... Is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well... I'm sure the fine folks... At the Harbinger Motel can guide you there... First thing in the morning. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. It's very strange. Honestly. Why is this guy just sitting there? Um... The guy was weird. That guy was giving me major weird. weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Yeah, I think so. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. I think... He honestly just wants to help the cop because obviously there's something out there. All right, let's get but back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? I have a feeling we probably no, should have listened terrible. to the creep-ass cop. Shall we? That's what but we'll see what happens. Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? i got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? Oh. I, 20s debatable easy I, I mean i'm kind of into mams okay we're done here <laughs> kind of want that to show up but sure <laughs> that's okay sure hackett's quarry summer camp established 1953 we are laura you gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Should have gone to the hotel. Hello? It's Mr. Hackett ain't there. I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll beat the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Made him feel bad. We 
I'm gonna try again, cause... Is anybody you know, home? It's what we do. We try again. Didn't work, obviously. It's not unlocked, cause obviously no one keeps their doors unlocked. Let's go this way, maybe. Okay, nothing that way. Nice. I just want to see if we can see anything, you know? see we don't really get to see anything these these viewpoints um sometimes hard to control just a little bit um so it's fine we had to have a look you know There's something here. What am I looking at? Tree walk, fire pit, tree house, jetty, boat house. Are you probably going to get to visit all of these spots? Car park. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What doesn't kill um, you makes you stronger. Okay. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Oh, I missed out the will. We'll make you stronger. Okay, anything else this way? Because like I said, I want to, you know, see all. And it does kind of, like, control. Like, it, it does kind of... This way again. Can we go in there? Cause I didn't get all, um... Lord, there's no one here, come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? Hey, you ready to roll? No? We're searching. We're searching for things. Cause the game wants us to. Even though we could just get out of here and go to the Harbinger Motel, the game wants us. To search. He wants us to play in a specific way. Even though choices are supposed to matter, but they don't really. I did read though, there's apparently 186 different endings or combinations of endings in this game. Oh, someone is down there. Hey! So, I'm you know. Hey, are you okay? I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. She thinks someone needs help. Um. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Maybe. Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so... Uh, hammer or the wrench? I feel like the hammer. The hammer is gonna do hammer something. Time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. Oh. He does make a point, but... Mm. Mm. Um...
um Imagine so someone's trapped. So someone's trapped. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> Looks like I don't even care. You need a hand? Yeah. You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? 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 Are you hurt? Do you exist? <laughs> Do you exist? We made a whole bunch of noise, so like, whatever it was may hey, have gotten scared off. Be careful. He's just sitting there waiting. Oh, Ian. Hey, Ian. How you doing? Okay, I'll grab another of the... Alright, let's... I'm thinking we get to... Yeah, grab the dog collar. It's got a bit of blood on it. It's a little bit gross. The bloody collar looks too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian? Oh, okay. So maybe it's maybe it's the dog boy, like Silas. Oh, oh, let's get out of here, Max. Yeah, I think it's time to get out of here. Or oh, we're about to die. Either way, maybe. Can we walk closer this way? Okay. Can we walk further this way? Okay, let search. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but I mean you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination Oh! Max is... Max! Oh my god. Guess what? Help. We gotta, we gotta help Max. <laughs> Although... I think I'm bleeding a lot. We're helping Max. This is... He would help us. I think we die either way. <coughs> oh, no. She wouldn't just leave him. Surely she wouldn't just leave him. I don't think she'd leave him. I think he was definitely just trying to help them. As creepy as Does it seems. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? No, no, it doesn't. Every little movement, every little thing you do, is it slight of hand that um. <laughs> to my heart to love you. But why did he put stab it with a needle? What's the needle for? <laughs> I feel the compulsion to pull you to my sweet lips. Is it a black magic spell you put me under? This miracle moment, never let it in. 
the quarry. So I think we'll get to going to chapter one now. Which I think I did decide that's what we're gonna do. Um you know but I also think I think I have like the 80s outfits because I have the deluxe version so we might go put the 80s outfits on and then go into chapter one after this little spot after talking with this um before we go into the next chapter and okay hello my friend welcome to the show we are friends aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting. Yes. And Recognize terrifying. this lady. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help What is your name? We can help each other. This is the card you found. The fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Um. Innocence and freedom. Or recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity, actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think, think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. Can you tell me your name? Well, let's see some more. Can you tell me your name? This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. What are we looking at? A fire. Ooh, a fire. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, Liza. what's her name? What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Actress Grace. If you have the 80s pack and you want to wear it, I worked out how to do that too. You go to settings, uh, display, down here to character packs, and the original 80s throwback. I'm going to put those 80s throwback on. I'm looking at indie horror, 80s horror, classic horror. Uh, we'll just. Oh my god, can I have it? Oh, oh gosh. I don't remember what it was on. That works. Okay. Now let's go back into our game. We are in chapter one, and you can see that the furthest that I've gotten is only chapter three, so I have not played this much at all. I can see it's taking like three hours, so like we got lots to do. Yes, I'm gonna lose the save because we're only at chapter one. Chapter one. She doesn't say that I've not gotten very far in this game at all. Alright. Let's go. Now I wonder if this is the end of the summer or if they're just beginning. I can't remember, I think. I think it could be the end, but I can't remember. And when I played, because it was a while ago that we played this game. <laughs> well, I played it anyway, because I did play it on stream. Oh, they're leaving. Oh my gosh, that Ladies. is kid is very cute. Peace and love. See you later, kid. Yeah, hack its quarry forever! Oh, he's got like a crop top going. I wonder what the 50s outfits are. Because there's 50 outfits of 50s. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. 50s. I want to have a... I want to have a look. Uh... You never know. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. Oh, the, 50s? the universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> the 50s is really cute. <laughs> okay, quit it. <laughs> oh my god. He's Hi, good. Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. His outfit's Say hi to the Emma best. For me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay, can we find anything? That's kind of what I, you know. Anything in here? Oh, gosh. You know? Well, I mean, we already looked at this, but... What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood, sign. Not in the mood. Okay. We are going to have a look around, so if you don't like doing this, I'm sorry, but this is how I like playing these games. Like, you know. Can we go up? I don't know if it wants us to go up. Can we, like, run in this game? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. Oh. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Closed. Sorry, bro. Okay. Cool. Thanks, guys. All right. Um. I think that's going to continue with the storyline because we needed to get the bags. So we might just go underneath and have a look around, you know? And we'll see. Because there was someone sitting down here, so we might have a quick chat. A chat of Roonies. A chat, chat, chat. According to reports from the local paper, these ID outfits <clears throat> are great. Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Good to know. Yes, doesn't even want to talk to us. I want to see how much the 50s outfit pack is, because it's pretty cool. It's 7 55 It's really not that expensive. Can we go down here? We cannot. We probably don't want to go down there either. Because we know something's happened. He wouldn't talk to us. That was a little bit rude, too. Like, I can't believe you don't want to talk to us. I'm sad we didn't put the 80s outfits on for the epilogue. I can get to see it. This is also very calming. So, I like it. You know, it's, it's like the calm before the storm. Although, I don't know how much. Oh, what's this? It's just a sign. It's nothing exciting. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in 1953 and it's still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, I have the 80s outfits because it came with the deluxe version. So, you know, that's why I have them. Well, we can get through the window. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, skill. <sighs> His uh, calf muscles are doing things in those shorts too. Oh, what's over here? It's like Ugh. a secret passageway. Horror. I hate horror. Oh, well, I feel like you're about to live in a horror movie yourself, man. So, uh, good luck to you. Oh, what's in here? I want to pick that up. <clears throat> I 
Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? What about you? He seems like a playful oh, man. Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? I do love how they use, like, actual actors. Sexy, hey? Oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in Bunk 7, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost <laughs> finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know... Maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? How, how does she do it? Maybe I like it. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have like this superpower over yeah, me, but maybe. you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> maybe he Ooh, likes it. Likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Seize the moment. Look, I'm just like saying, that, I don't know like why you didn't make a move on Ryan. Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> Well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like the a dog moment. with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. Not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. <laughs> well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> okay, so I think one choice here is we're going to start a fire. Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd <laughs> probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like a arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Huh. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Really? Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Sure, sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to take the road around. We're going to break the fuel line. I feel like if we break the fuel line, that's how we start the fire. I don't know if I want to start the fire. Although that's pretty, you know, it's a lot, but I feel like the road around. I don't know what a road around does, but, you know. Hey, come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Okay. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 Along. Oh, Nick. Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Freak. Oh. 
Oh, I mean, that's ooh, something in our show. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I mean, I get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <gasps> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Ha <laughs> <laughs> Ben. Boom. Um. Back off, dipshit. Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I. Peace and love, man. Yeah, I, this I, man seems like some sort of like stuck up. Y'all ready to bounce? Where's everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to Sometimes. respond to that. You say, Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay. Yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. outfit for Abby. Oh, she can draw. She can draw. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Yes. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwards <laughs> dump. Doors locked. Bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. Then by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Do we want to leave the bag or do we take the bag? Hmm. I don't know. Um. I'm just trying to, um. I think we're going to, uh, oh gosh, uh, it's not a big decision. We'll break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Okay. Mm. That was a weird way of breaking it, oh, but sure. About the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever okay. listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. All right, let's do this. I do like um, Emma's 80s outfit. It's really cute. I like this one too. What do we find? I can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Okay. Uh, freak show. Why would this place be in the news? Let's have a look. A scrap from the local newspaper, the North Pelgaza. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire, was it here? That packet's glory. Okay. 
Can we look at it again and get anything else? Show text. We can read it. Okay. Last night in the Hackett Woods, the widely anticipated harem scarum. Scarum? Scarum? Harem? Scarum? Ended in a tragedy as a blaze ripped through the show's attractions, burning the entire site to the ground in a matter of minutes. Though firefighters were eventually able to contain the flames, it is thought that dozens perished. There has been no official statement on the confirmed death toll yet. However, we can reveal that one of the deceased is known as Sheriff Hank Miller of North Kill. The cause of the fire is unknown. However, the North Kill Defi Police Department released a statement earlier today indicating that preliminary investigation showed no signs of arson. This looks like it was nothing but a tragic accident. It's no secret how quickly fires can go up in dry wooded areas. And though Harem Scarum followed all the correct safety procedures, sometimes act of gods, acts of God like this are sadly unavoidable. Our thoughts go out to Hank's family and to those who lost their lives in this tragic turn of events. When questioned on how the Hackett family have reacted to the news of fire, being the proprietor proprietors of the land on which this occurred authorities declined to comment our priorities right now are to ensure nothing like this ever happens again and the bodies of all those who perished are identified and their next of kin informed members of the public are being asked to avoid the area whilst the investigation concludes and are also reminded that the hackett woods are private property known to be licensed grounds during hunting season a candid lit vigil will be held in the town square next week to pay respect to the harem scarum show members and attending Residents of North Kill who all tragically lost their lives. Details will be published in the coming editions. So in the woods, where we were in... Aww. This was little Izzy's. I want to play a game! Let's keep it. Why not? Let's get you back to Izzy. Yeah. That sounds like a good option. So these people died in a fire? Maybe? That's what I'm, I'm gathering? Alright. Now we're just going to have a bit of a wander around and see what we find. we can see. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Just a little bit, you know? Huh. Oh, it's a crow. Is it a crow? It was a crow. What was it doing? I don't even know, but we scared it off. We certainly scared that thing off. Can we go? No, we don't want to go down there. Okay. I do want to see. I read somewhere that you can sometimes get like additional um, dialogue. I'm not going to do this for everything, but some things might give us additional dialogue. Oh, but we can look around. Not that this helps us. Okay. So you can go back and re-look at things and just see what, you know, is there. You might guys want to have, you know, if you've got this yourself. And just see, you know. Um, now, I don't think there's any point to going and checking out all of these rooms. Like, the doors and stuff. I don't know that there's going to be anything, but there might be, you know, stuff around. We do at least get to be able to see with, like, the blue line thing that pops up. I just don't know how far away from things it pops up. I know we just finished, um, the casting of Frank Stone, and I do wish it had, like... Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. <laughs> 
got plunders for when you're like looking for a trinket. <sighs> an empty vial with an unpleasant odor. Ugh. Ugh, what is that? Is it Dylan's? It's something <laughs> gross. Something gross for sure. I'm just gonna. I wish we could. Oh, look, there's something. Information signpost. This is a novelty signpost. Also, access a chilling reminder that the Hackett's Quarry is a, is a long way from anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I can get down with that. You know. Uh, okay, so that's Emma. She's waiting for us over there with the thing. Let's go have a look over this way and see. Really hope we don't kill Abigail. I kind of like Abigail. It's a pool. Okay. I don't know if we found everything, but... We'll see. Ready to roll? Let's do it! Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. But louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh, oh we're gonna have to do something. Let's drive around it. <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jankies. Jankies? Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. A dud? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Does he? Yeah, sure. Does he Fine. get it? That's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, Ooh. but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Yeah, fuck it, let's go the scenery route. Let's have a look. I want to see the scenic route. Sure, what's the victory? Yeah. Two months, no technology. Scenic route it is. I thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. My subs need me. How could they put this? She seems oh, like a how'd they even get person. by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. Yes. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be like really happy or rock. My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Hmm, it is. Is... Is that smoke? Oh. There is Should we smoke. tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. 
Mm -hmm. Probably. Everyone's waiting for us. Oh, they're gonna leave without, you know? Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <laughs> oh, someone, someone's watching. Oh, that's a little creepy. I'm gonna have a look at all of the quarry casts and just see who everyone is or from. Because, like, some of them are, you know, well-known. You know, Don't worry, like... Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is, like, patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! <sighs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't Ignore like her, know? please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag. Thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Oh. Cool. Ugh. Uh, uh, Abby. Do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> so awkward. I love it. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. Yeah, Ryan, the one who wouldn't oh, even here. talk to us. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, he was listening podcast. To a podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? Is it about me? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? Is it about me? You Is it? think I was listening to a podcast about you? Probably not, but okay, that's not the point. If anyone heard a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag the of Hackett's Hag Quarry? Of Hackett's you don't know quarry. about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Silas? There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this Silas figure the dog? that floats around, you know, text and stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Silas the dog boy. Or kill you, or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. Give uh, me that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. It doesn't cool seem story, like someone bro. who would make it up, you know? Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> Probably. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Do we? Get those butts in gear. Do we? Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? 
The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Well, are we gonna have to catch it? You know, okay. I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Okay, I thought, okay, we were gonna have to catch it. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Uh, yeah, we're going to annoy. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. <laughs> I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need. Man, you said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just uh, Ryan does seem like someone who would lose his patience. Meet you the van quite okay. easily. Quite easily. All right, I think we're getting to be uh, Ryan. I like the way you so, play like uh, the Ryan. Chris, I'm characters. actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, it's um, it's just you know about the whole thing with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. I kind of want to listen to what he's talking about. Well, he's dropping for sure. What? The kids are kids. It'd only be so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to... Take me to get rid of these damn kids. Can we... Yeah, of course. Adios. Dude, me. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on. It's sorry I pushed you out like that. <laughs> Uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family yeah. is important, Ryan. I wish you got like an 80s fit. Dang it. I'm not gonna go with concerns. Is everything okay? Because you, you already screwed tonight? up. Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> So, once, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. Here we are. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... Ease up on the ghost stories. I feel like that's a fair, a fair thing. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore. <laughs> Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Keys. 
Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Because the ghost stories come to lie. I'm just going to be understanding. We're totally. not going to yeah. break and prod him because he's pretty Best to get you all agitated. out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? Please say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. Hi. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Coffee. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. Do we get to have a look around the office? No. And I don't know, we haven't found the um the tarot cards yet. I think we kind of find one in each. Make episode. sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Um So I don't know if we didn't look around inside there enough earlier when we Wait, were. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Yes, it is. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude. It's just like... Kaput. kaput. All right. Let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. Fine, that's what his name. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Can I have dude. another car then? I could have just sent them home and... Oh, no, because the car's only probably got four seats. Or five seats. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay, no fire. I think that would have been more interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Oh, he's freaking out. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. I gotta get ready to catch. Oh, hey, man. Ron. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. Yes, we got it. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Man. Can you promise me you'll do that? I will try. These people don't seem like the kind of people who... I gotta listen. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Yeah, like. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. They could all fit in there. If he really wanted them gone, give them that car. And 
get them out. Surely. Surely that's what you would do. And also quite so, enough seats. What was that about? He uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um, are I don't think you she's happy. kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. I agree. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or we could go inside until morning. Or we could do something else. We're gonna end up doing something else. We follow Chris's. This man, no, he follows no, instructions. No, He's no, like no, no. me. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. He is me. Of course. Uh, I follow instructions. Who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. How about no, we want to live? Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, of he's in. obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He's I agree. just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> yeah. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. I, I agree. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I, no, 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 no dude, will. dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Oh. Oh, oh, hell yeah, no. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris <laughs> told me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning mm -hmm. committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. Something. All right, let's do this. All right, who do we get to go with first? Let's see. Are we going to the shops or uh, all the stores? Oh, what's this? Someone is watching us with a gun. That is a scope from a gun. They're watching us. Oh. Oh, that man's covered in blood. Oh, he's a little creepy looking. He kind of looks like Trapper from DVD. He's giving off those vibes. Um. Yes. Is he going to cover himself in blood too? Oh, I think so. I bet it doesn't smell very good. Oh, he is. He's, he's rubbing that right in. He's getting all those cracks and crevices. I wonder what they're hunting for. I'm thinking it's like Silas the dog. Whatever Silas the dog is, maybe. What does this sign say? That's what I want to know, too. <laughs> he didn't say hunters come in. Hunting. Does that say season? Hunting season? Hunting season is upon us. What are they hunting? That's what I want to know. I'm gonna say we I missed the I was hoping card. you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Not enough. Empty handed. Oh. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Oh, we didn't find it. Find them, please. Oh, well, we get nothing from her. Oh, that's sad. You'd better be going. 
It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. It won't wait for us. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Okay. We have to look out for the cards next time. Okay. I think. All right. We are going to leave this episode right here because we're going into we're going into the, the chapter two, and I'm going to leave it here. So every time we go in and we meet with her, I was calling her the hag, but I don't think she's the hag. What did I say her name was? Here we go, Eliza. Eliza, every time we go and we meet with Eliza, I don't know if we ever find out her name, I've just got it from IMBD. Now, every time we meet with her, we're going to stop the episode there. So that's where we're going to go. Um, so I have a look at these things right here, above the law. You'll never take me alive. A shot in the dark could come back to haunt you. The long arm of the law extending, whether it holds a gun or an olive branch. Let's look at the path. Laura was honest with the cop about the accident on the road. Laura tried to help Max after he was attacked in the storm shelter. It doesn't tell us if this is... So Jacob removed the rotor arms. These are our little choices that we've made. And obviously it's done something. The minivan fell at the start. So the... Abby chose to help Emma break into the... Abby was able to explore inside the cabin. And Abby put the forgotten toy in her bag. Okay, so they're all the choices we've made. These are all the clues we've found so far for each of the things. And let's have a look at... This last one, the can't. Okay, so this is all the spots so far. And this is where people are at the moment. So that's where they're, they're sitting. So it's quite large, the area that we get to. And we miss one of the tarot cards. Oops. We got the full, we missed this one. So I don't know how many there is. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this this episode the epilogue in chapter one i will see you back here in the channel for chapter two and i'm very excited to see where this game takes us i hope you'll have a fantastic day and night wherever you're in the world and if you like this video don't forget to give it a bit thumbs up and comment down below um what you loved about the series and if you can't wait for the next episode all right guys i'll catch you in the next one bye Heart racing like a drum, chasing after freedom, fighting till the game is won. Every step I take, I won't let the fear control. With every survivor, we're gonna reach our goal.